Shalom everybody. Shalom, shalom. All right, so with God's help, we will continue with uh, our uh, teaching of uh, Kabbalah. Uh, I will put uh, uh, my, my page so I can write stuff. Okay, we, we, we remind uh, again the name of the 10th Firot. Uh, is the Keter, the crown, what is like above consciousness. Keter, it's in crown. Chokhma is the wisdom in the youth of the name of God. The Bina, it's mean understanding. It's the Hay, it's the mother, the letter Hay of the name of God. After Sometimes we count that, the knowledge. Sometimes we don't count it that, it's mean knowledge. It's like the connection. After we have the chesed, chesed it's like generic, uh, to be generous, to, to do good. Like how is the quality of Avram, chesed. We start now the, the sixth attribute of the heart, of the vow of the name of God. After we have gvura. Vura, it's like strength, it's like, a, it's like power, holding yourself. Uh, it is a attribute of Yitzhak, the left hand. After we have Tif Eret, Tif Eret, it's like a beauty of many colors, correspond to Yaakov, that is really, uh, is a middle between Avram and Yitzhak, the body. After we have the Netzach, Netzach it's like a winner, have to do with Moses. After we have Hod, Hod it's like, a, I will translate Hod, it's kind of majesty, but it's majesty that have to do with, uh, with surround light. Always the, the legs have to, are connected to, to surround light, to, to the crown. Hod, it's like head, echo. It came from the word hodaya, to say thanks, to, to convert, to say I'm sorry, etc. It's like a loser. If the other one is a, is a winner, Hod is more the loser, the one that receives, that accept his fault. After we have Yesod, Hod corresponds to Haron, the priest. Yesod corresponds to, to Yosef Atzadik. Yesod is the foundation, right? And after we have the, the kingdom, the Malchut, in the, in the video I gave a few years ago about the prayer, the Christian prayer, I explained that uh, uh, all this, uh, this name, this attribute of the heart that corresponds to the letter Vav, the kingdom corresponds to the Malchut, corresponds to the last day of the name of God. But all this, uh, all this attribute of, of, of the heart, uh, uh, almost the same name exactly appear in the, in the prayer of David. In, in the chronics, Vaivarech David, it's a prayer st start with David the blessed, Chronics uh, 1, chapter 29, start with the verse uh, 10. By David, Tatunai led the Kolakal, David blessed God to the eyes of all the, all the people. And he said, By Yomer David, David said, Baruch Atta Hashem Eloke Israel, bless you, uh, uh, God, the God of Israel, our, our Father, from, from world to world. From world to world, it's like from the, the, the hiding world, what is the, the, the first let, the first hay of the name of God, to the other, to the revealed world, what is the other hay, hay of the name of God. The two hay correspond to the two worlds. It's like the Olam Abai and the Olam Azed. This world and the, and the hiding, the spiritual world, the Holy Spirit. 
And then he said, Lecha Hashem Agdula, for you, God, for you, you have the graciousness, what corresponds to the sphere of chesed. In the Zohar, he calls the sphere of chesed Gdula, to be great like Abraham. The Torah call him the, the, the greatest of, of the giant, Agadol Ba'anaki. After you have exactly the same name, Lecha Hashem Agdula Vagvura, Vatiferet Vanessa Vaot, exactly the same name, like, we, like uh, in the Kabbalah. So we, we see that the Kabbalah is something completely biblical. It's not something that somebody I don't know who invite. It's completely the word of the of David, the king. After after the word, you say key call, because call, call it's like everything. The Yesod we call him call, and key call equal Yesod, because everything, it means you have. You have kikol in the heaven and in the earth because the sphere of Yesod, what it's like, Yosef HaTzadik make connection. This is like the pillows that do the connection between between world, between heaven and earth. You call it in Kabbalah to the Amuda Dem Tzaita, the pillow of the middle. In the middle of each world, it is a point that you are stuck. You can be elevated to a higher spiritual existence. This refers to the sphere of your soul that you make connection between the male and the female. It's made between heaven and earth. Kikol equal in Gimetia Yesod Foundation, 80. And after he said, Lecha Hashem Amamlacha, for you, God, the kingdom. All right, so we have the kingdom. Etc. All right, so we see that all the seven attributes of the art with the kingdom are writing here, almost the same the same letter we use uh, in the tenth sefirot of the Kabbalah, and and we if we talk about Chabad, uh, the concept of Chokma Binadat appear many times in the Bible. The first the first uh, important appearance it's about uh, Betzalel ben Uri, Betzalel, the, the building of the, the artist of the Mishkan, right? It is written that God filled him a spirit of God, Bechokma uvitvuna uvedat, with wisdom, with tvuna, tvuna, it's another form of bina, tvuna, uvedat. All right, so we have here the concept of the Chabad. The, the, the free concept of Chabad appear many times in the Torah, so it's not something that is not biblical. Kabbalah, Kabbalah, it's, it's biblical completely. Uh, this was, by the way. Okay, so another thing uh, before I go to, to the Hasidut, the second part of this lesson that I, 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 I want to, to talk about is the concept of of the part of film, faces. Arizal, uh, the, the great Mekubal Arizal is the greatest Mekubal uh, in the, the last 400 years, uh, uh, makes the Kabbalah, develop the Kabbalah with many, many data. Right? So what you call a sphera, the ten spherot, this become in, in, the, in the Kabbalah of Arizal, part of film. A sphere, it's like a point. A part of a face, it's like all human beings. It's like you have a head, you have, all right? So each sphere, all the sphere become part of film. We, we mentioned before, a, a very shortly, a name of part of film. We mentioned Atikyomi. Atikyomin, we mentioned Arikhampin, both related to the crown, the inner, the inner part of the crown and the exterior, outside part of the crown. After we, we say that the father, the, the wisdom is the father, father is the name of a, of, a, of a face. 
with mother, Ima, after we have Zer and P. Zer and P, it's like, it's like a, a, a short face. Arich and pin, it's like the long. Arich is long, the ear is short. And after you have the nukva of the zer and pin, the female of arich and pin. All right, so this is shortly the name of the, of the patrufim, but really a, a more detail with atik. In more detail, we have 12 parts of him. We have Atik Yomin and his female, Venukva, and his female. We have Arich and Pin and his female. Uh, in Atik Yomin, the female of Atik Yomin is like his, his back. His backside. Atikomin is the front, his female is his back. In Arikhan Pin, uh, the female is the left. Arikhan Pin, it's like the right, is the right part of himself, and his female, it's like his left part. Right? They are connected together. After you have, instead of Chokma, what we, what we call before Chokma, instead of Chokma, we have now Abba, the Ima, Ilain. The I, the I father and mother. Instead of Bina, you have now Yisrael Saba Vitvuna. Yisrael. Oh. Israel grandfather and Tvuna. Tvuna is the other form of Bina, like, like we mentioned before. And in, instead of Zer and Pin, we have Israel Velea And instead of uh, the Nukva, the female of the Iran pin with Yaakov and Rachel. All right, so we have all together 12 faces. Okay. The, in, the, in the head, in the mental, you can set, you have four elements and you can, you can make them like a Aleph. You can make, make them like this. Abba, Ima, Israel, Saba, and Una. Think about the form of the Aleph. Why right, this is a U on top of the Aleph? Can you see it? This is a Vav. And this is a low yield of the Aleph. When we talk about uh, uh, when we talk about the connection between the rabbi and the disciple, it's the connection that has to do with brain, right? A rabbi and, and his disciple. The two concepts that have to do with the, with the disciple is father, we call him Esav, and Avram, we call it Esav in the appearance of Avram. And in the mother, you have Yaakov. In 
Il va perdre un sophie et frappe. Can you see this? Right? So, this is a disciple. This is a rabbi. This is a rabbi. And this again, this is like God himself. But this, this essence, this concept of the father, the real father, it, it, it is really what, what make the rabbi wiser. Because the disciple make his rabbi wiser. Talmud Amarkim et Raboy, disciples that make his rabbi wiser. It's why this is Yud and this is Yud. Both have to do with wisdom. There are two concepts. You have, you have Esav in the apparent bit mood. Abraham, this is the Talmud, the disciple, or, right? And you have, and you have uh, uh, Yaakov, when Yaakov came above Yitzhak, we, we give him always the Vav. Yaakov in the appearance of Yitzhak. Okay, these are two characters, basically. Okay, but the way they appear, it's like, it's like you see in the picture of the Aleph. The mother and Israel Saba, it's like the letter Vav in the middle, it's the firmament. The father and Esavir, it's like the high water. And the, the Tvuna and Avram, it's like the low water. The firmament, make a separation between the high water and the, and the low water. Okay? So all this concept we talk, we talk in other less and more, in more deep, in more, in more, in more data, I'm not going to, to get too much on this. We can say when we talk about a disciple that make his wise, Talmid Amarkim et Rabo, Talmid equal Ariel Ariel. This is a disciple that make his wife Amarkim et equal and with the feeling with the thing letter a markim et equal hen with the feeling letter what is 524 and equal yitzhak Plus Jesus. Okay? With what the disciple make his rabbi wise? With the understanding of the soul of Jesus, who is Yitzhak. Rabo, who is his rabbi? Rabo. It means his rabbi. It is Talmud Amarkim et Rabo. Talmud Amarkim et Rabo. Rabo equal in Gimetia Yitzchak. So this is Rabbi. I saw. Who is who is very clear. Okay? So in one way we talk about two concepts, in another way we talk about four concepts. Uh, the idea is that the, the, the real father is a disciple. 
And the rabbi really is the master, the develop, the disciple. Right? The disciple give a seed to the rabbi, he give a point. Right? The rabbi ask, ask me a, what kind of music you do? I say, I do symmetrical music. So then he say, symmetrical in Hebrew is Han. And then he, he, he try, he start to teach me about the word Han. Right, so I give him the point. I like symmetry, I like Han. Right, this is what I am. So now he developed me like a mother, develop, make from this point all face. He teach me hundreds of Torah about the word Han. Like the, ma the mother takes the seed of the father and develop it. This is a bina. She develops the point of the wisdom. Okay. So you see here that in uh, this expression, Talmud, Amarkim, et Rabo, we have exactly the identity of the, of the Talmud, of the rabbi, and with what he makes his wife is a rabbi wise with the concept of Chen and with, with the concept of Yitzhak and Jesus, okay? Because all the book is, is, is a book about Yitzhak. This reward Yitzhak Mashiach Chen, acronym of Yimach, equal free time Yitzhak. So the average value of each one of these words is Yitzhak. So all my book is just Yitzhak, who is Jesus, okay? All right. Uh, Another concept, uh, we have to talk about this very shortly, is the concept of the different part of the soul. Uh, if we talk about Atik Yomir, refer to what you call Etsem Neshama, the essence of the soul. Refer to the Yechida, it means the Mashiach, the Son of God, the concept of the Abba and Ima Ilain, the, the High. I, father and mother, refer to what we call the Chaya, the beast. With, we talk here about the holy beast. Israel, Saba, Vetvuna. refer to the neshama. Neshama always have to do with understanding, with the mother. Nishmat Shaddai Tevinem, the, the, the soul of Shaddai will understanding, have to do with understanding. Israel, this is like the Chokma. This is like the Bina. Right? This is the name, the Yud of the name of God. The hay, this is a vav. We call it the dot. This refers to the Ruach, the Spirit. Uh, 
מלכות זה קינגדום, have to do with the speech, תנוקווה, the female, we refer to Yaakov and Rachel, this refer to the nefesh. He says that this corresponds to the four worlds. The, the, the Yechida refers to Adam Kadmon. The ancient man. The Chaya refers to the world of Atsilut. עולם האצילות, the world of אצילות. ומתמה ריפר טו עולם הבריאה, זה קריאט וורד. זה ריפר טו זה וורד אוף יצירה. יצירה אצמור, אף תדעו איס ארטיסטיקל, קריאשן, ליצור, לצייר, טו טו. to change the form of thing, to give him a new form. Nefesh has to do with the word of action of Asiya, Olam Asiya. Right, so this was a conclusion, it's conclusion and, uh, you know, to, uh, of, of what we took the last time. Now we are going to start with the Hasidut that is behind all this. You know that, like we said, the Hasidut give different names that refer to our soul, to all the concept of Kabbalah, to all the concept. The more deep, deep concept, the Hasidut explain exactly what, what is in our soul. Very deep, very... Uh, far out concept of Kabbalah, with all the small data, the, the Hasidut transfer everything to different men. All right, so they give different men for wisdom. They give, they, they give different men for Bina. All right, so something we can relate to it to understand what it's, what it's mean in my soul. Now, Rabbi Ginsburg, my Rabbi, uh, switch all the name of Kabbalah to, to 13 concept and he, how you say, he fix them. It means this is, this is a name, all right? All right, there can be many names for, for Bina, but he took one name and he said, this will be the name for Bina. They can, be, they can be in Hasidut many names for, for wisdom. He took one of the concepts of, of wisdom. He said, this will be the name for wisdom, another name, alternative name. All right, for, for the crown, in the crown it is written that they are free head. In Kabbalah, you call them Radla, what is, what is the, the short to say Resha Delo Yada Yada Delo Eat Yada. That that is not, he don't know himself, he is, he is not known for the arm. Resha de lo yada ve lo it yada, after it is a Resha, Resha the head, the ein, Resha the head of nothing, and after it is Resha the arich.
instead of all this you have other alternative name instead of Resha de Ein you have a Mocha Stima'a the console brand the hiding brand instead of Resha de Arich you have Gulgolta All right, so sometimes if you had in the, in the letter of Kabbalah, you call them Radla, Mochastima'a, and Gulgolta. Sometimes you call them Radla, Resha de Ein, and Resha de Arich. There are many other names. We're not going to get into all this, but in Hasidut, Rabbi Ginsburg gave them three other names. And, and, and make a connection with Fatik Yomim, too. He says the first ed will be Emuna, Fef, and this is referred to the Gar, Gimel Rishonot, the first three spherot of Fatik Yomim. The first three spherot of Fatik Yomim. After After is Tanu, pleasure. This refers to the, the Zain Tartonot, the, the seven law spheres of Atik Yomim. After you have Ratzon, the wheel. And this refers to Arich and Pid. To the Mashiach. Okay? So he gave us three names Ebuna, Tanuk, Ratzon. Faith, pleasure, will. That equal together Keter, the crown of good name, Keter Shem Tov. Keter Shem Tov, it's, it, it, it is expression of, of Hazal. About, about the free crown. Chazal said the free crown is the crown of Torah. Is the crown is the crown of Kuna. is the crown of kingdom, Kehuna is priesthood, is the crown of, of Malchut, of kingdom. And the sun above this three, the, it is Keter Shem Tov, the crown of good name. So we don't understand. He says that there are only three crowns. He, did, he didn't say that there are four crowns. So, when he talk about the free crown, he talk, he talk, he talk about the free crown in, in Chabad. Keter, Keter Torah, the crown of Torah refer to the, to the wisdom, to the Chochmah. Keter Keunah refer to the mother, to the Bina. And Keter Malchut refer to the, na, to the knowledge, to the connection, right? to, the, to the snake. This is like Adam, Eve, and Nachash and Snake. But when this, this, this three crown have a, have a root in the, in the crown, it means above the Chabad, above the, above the head, above the Sechel, above the head. And when they are above the head, 
he called him Keter Shem Tov. Right. So now the order will be, Emuna will refer to the crown of, the crown of Kehuna, Keter Kehuna. The Tanuk, the pleasure, will refer to Keter Torah. And the will, at some, will refer to Keter, Keter Malchut, Kingdom. So now, the, we, we, have, we have the order of Keuna Torah Malchut. Priesthood, Torah, and Kingdom. And the acronym of this three letter in this order is Keten. Keten, it's like, it's like the color orange. It is written Rosho Ketem Paz. Paz, it's, it's a very, uh, uh, very fine gold. We call it Paz in the Torah, in the Bible. Paz. All right, so his head, it means his crown, is a, <laughs> is a ketem of Paz, of gold. Okay, so ketem is the acronym of, of Keuna. Torah Malchut. Now we understand why they said that the crown of good name is above the free. It's the same free crown, it's the same free, but it's the root of the free the way it is in the crown, above consciousness. Okay? It's a different order. All right, so like we said, in the crown were three concepts. Emuna, Anub, what's on? Faith, ple pleasure, and will. Now, instead of chokma, he gives the word bitul. To be in bitul, it means to be completely give yourself, completely with not ego, with no consciousness, with not any self, self, self consciousness. Bitul. Right? I'm nothing. Right? Instead of mother, he gives the name Simcha, happiness. Emma Banim Smecha, the mother of the children happy, like it is written in Tehilim. Right? In the in the Alel, we say. Emma Bani Smecha. Instead of that, now he takes all the concepts. He gives the name Yehud, what is mean connection. We see that knowledge has to do with connection. Now I use the word to connect, to be yacha, to be together, it has to do with the concept of that knowledge. Yehud, connection. Instead of Chesed, he gives the name Ahava, so this is very obvious, love. Instead of Gvura, he gives the name Yira, fear. Instead of Tiferet, he gives the name Rachamim, mercy. Instead of Tiferet, 
instead of Netzach, he gives the name of Bitachon, confidence. Right, this is a lex. Like it is written, Olech Baton Yelech Betach. Instead of, once again, I'm going to explain this verse. Instead of Hod, he gives the word Mimut. Mimut, it means simplicity, naivety. Woolness, it's Mimut. Right? It is Tmimut. Another form of Tmimut is Tom. To be Tamim, to be Tam. Tam. It is written, Olech Batom, the one that go with simplicity. Right? He keep going, no, no matter what are the, the, the problem in his way, he keep, he keep, he keep going. He will, he will, from Tmimut, he will get to self-confidence, bitachon, confidence in God, right? It's in Mishlei, uh, chapter 10, verse 9. Olech batom yelech beta. Not a limit, Mishlei, of course. Instead of the foundation, Bye-bye. The story of Yesod, he gives the word emet, true. Emet, it's, it's meaning Hebrew not only true, it means it mean true in, in, in the sense of realization. To realize something is, is le'amet, le'amet, like to, to, to realize a promise. And instead of the king or the malchut, the kingdom, he gives the word shiflut. Shiflut is mean I'm nothing. What is different between shiflut and bitul? What we give for wisdom? Bitul is not, he, he don't have any self-consciousness. Shiflut, he has a consciousness. He's very aware of himself, but he sacrifices himself to God. All right? I'm nothing, like David say, will say to, to his wife, Michal, that she was not very happy to see him dancing with all the same people with the Torah when they bring back the, the book of Torah from Plishtim. Uh, David was dancing, maybe in a funny way. And, and uh, David say, Vaiti shafal benai, nekaloti, he say, I am nothing. And for me, it's, 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 it's my respect to be with these simple people. All right, so how many letters we have here? How many letters we have in all this? 13, there are 13 names, right? 13 equal 13. Equal chen in small number. Equal love too. It's all love. But how many letters there are? There are fifty-eight letters. What equal chen? Chen letter. Yimach. Now, what will be the gimmick of all this name together? Four thousand hundred sixty. What is ten times Yitzhak Yitzhak? What is 10 times 10 Ashiach? What 
What does he call this number? Tell him the image time God, the image of God, Selem Avaya. Yes, Selem equal, equal 160. It gave up K equal 26. The image of God. In the, in the Bible, appear only the concept of the image of Elohim, right? It is written that the God created the man, the, the man Bethlehem, in the end, Bethlehem, Elohim. What equal, by the way, 248, what is uh, Avraham? What is Ramach? The letter of donkey. What is the number of the commandment of do? Do, right? There are the, the, the 365 command, commandments that tell us don't do this, don't do this. And there are two. 248 commandments that tell us do this, do this. Together it is 630. Okay. So here we, we can receive the idea. It is written by Vra. By Vra Elohim et Adam Betsamo, Betselem Elohim Baraoto. Right? God created the man in his image, the Selem, in the image of God, he created him. So we say that Betzel Melokim equal 248. What about the number 465? Betzel Bara equal 465. את האדם. בצלם. equal 630. All right, so you see that in the verse that God created the man and his image appear all these three numbers. 248, 465, what you call Shasa, Shasa, the commandment of don't do. But Lo ta'ase, don't do. This is mitzvot, the commandment of do. Okay? And this is above the two numbers together. 248 plus 165. And it's, I didn't take the same, the word from here and the word from here and I put them together. No, it's a different word. So it's very interesting that all these numbers 
appear in this verse. Even our sages never tell us that, that uh, this number appears in this verse. They just receive a tradition that they are friends so commandment. Right, they have a tradition. But we can see it in the Torah very clearly that all these three numbers appear in, in this verse. This was, by the way, so in this verse, we have the concept of the image of Elohim. But here, we have the image of Yudke Vavke. Always Yudke Vavke is a more deep, is a more deep name of God. Right? Elohim, it's more the force of the nature. It's the, the appearance of God uh, uh, for each one according to his vessel, right? They are Elohim of Abraham, they are Elohim of Yitzhak, Elohim it's many, they are, it's like there are many Elohim, right? Elohim it's like one, but Elohim it's like there are many, there are many God. Really, there are many God? It means the, it's the appearance of Yudke Vavke, when he, when he appeared in, inside the nature, so he appeared to each one according to his personality, to his vessel, all right? So he's a God of Abraham, he's a God of Yitzhak, he's a God of Yaakov. It's like everybody has his personal way to achieve godliness. Okay. And of course, this kind of, this kind of God can become Chaz Shalom. Elohim Acherim, other gods, still the same name, that can go out of holiness, eh? if, we, if we make idolatry from that. Avaya is completely above the nature, it's Aya Hoveye. Aya, he was, he is, and he will be. It mean, above the time, above nature, it's, it's, it's the name of, name, we call him the name of Avaya. We are not allowed to pronounce his name, of course. Okay, so one of the gematriot we have here, we have the Tselem of Avaya. I'll give you some more gematriot with this. How much you call Betzalmo Betzalem Elohim? Thing, right? <coughs> On this verse, Betzalmo Betzem Elokim, this free word equal four hundred and sixteen. Again, it's Hak, it's Hak, Chen Mashiach. You know, uh, the concept of the shekel, the, the Jewish coin, right? You call shekel, it contains 20 gera. You know what is a gera? The seed of the haruv. You know, you know what it is? It's written in the Torah, the shekel, it contains, it a weight of 20 gera. Gera, gera is the way we call the seed of a fruit called charuv. One second, I, I give you the translation. Charuv. Karob. Okay? The charuv is a karob. So, if I take the word gera, time, gera equal Yitzchak, time 20, we have 20 gera in one shekel, equal the same number. What else equals this number? 
this is not a verse, but equal ten time. Betzelem Chamor, the image of a donkey. Yud Kevavke, the name Yud Kevavke refers to the secret of the donkey, and the name Adnut Adonai refer to the horse. Okay? Uh, in the past, we, we gave lesson, we gave lesson about the, about the, the difference between the horse and the donkey. And one of the things we teach about the horse of the donkey is that they refer, these two concepts refer to the name Yud Kevavke and the name Adonai. We call him the name of mercy. We call Yud Kevavke Shem Arachamim. Shem Arachamim, the name of mercy. Rachamim, mercy, is the same letter of Hamurim, donkey. Okay. The name of mercy. Okay. In the in the thirteen uh, 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 attribute of mercy. What is the secret of the birb of Arich and Pin? It is written, Hashem Hashem, two times God, Hashem Hashem, Kel Rachum. Kel El, God, Rachum. is full of mercy. Rachum is the letter of Hamor. And the, and the, the 13 attribute of mercy of the crown Parallel, of course, to the to the twelve tribe, to the twelve uh, 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 to the twelve uh, uh, months, twelve tribe, etc. The twelve months, and the second attribute here is Rachum, what refers to the month of Iyar, what is the month of Hisachar, that Torah call him donkey, Hisachar Hamor Garen, right? We talk about usually the name of Yud Kevavke refer to the name of the name, the letter Vav of the name of God. And the, the, the letter Vav is referred to the, is the, the number six, and number six always refer to the donkey. Always. Yisachar, right? We write Yisachar, Yisachar Hamorgare. A donkey of bones. You see, in the in the word is Sahar, that is the second in the order of the flag. We have the letter of six, shesh, right? Shin shin. What is the number six? What equal six hundred? Okay, so. This is something general that uh, uh, the name Yudke Vav can refer to the letter Vav, to the number six, to the concept of the donkey. Why is the same letter of Rachamim, mercy, is the name of the, the mercy. Right? This was, by the way. Okay, so it's why when I, when I talk about the image of a donkey, Equal Yitzchak Yitzchak too, equal Chen uh, Mashiach, all these concepts we talk about all the time. Let me see what else we have with this number. 20 Gera, it's like 20 times Yitzchak, right? It's 208 times 20. It's a, it's, a, it's a weight of one shekel like 20, 20 uh, uh, seed of Karub, of the Karub. Now, another important thing with this number, 
We spend time Lucifer. Lucifer equal Yitzchak Yitzchak. I so the concept of Lucifer, of the devil, it can be in holiness and it can be out of holiness. Today, this concept is, is especially out of holiness. Lucifer equal to Pontius Pilatus. Who kills Jesus? Right? What is equal this number? There are few negative things that have to do with this number. The son of the devil. Ben Satan. The son of the Satan. Well, so we mentioned here three think that usually are, are, uh, are known as very uh, negative thing. No. Both of them. If, I, <laughs> if I just do the gematia of Selem Avaya, it's not a multiplied selem baya baya, just selem avaya, selem yud ke vavke. Equal kof. Manki. Equal makom tu. Right, so this, the place. God, God is calling the Torah many times Makom, the place. We call God the place. Okay. Makom equal six times L. L is two, two word. It's not only the name of God, it's two word. L. And you let L, I go to two word. All right, so in the, in the space we have six, six a, a direction, right? We have front and back, right and left, up and down. This refer to this, to the name Vav of the name of God that refer to, this is the south, the right is the south, the left is the north, Front of me is the east. Right, this is the Rachamim, the Mercy, Yaakov. Back is the sphere of Yesod, is the, 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 the west. Right, the west, the Maharav. Darom, Safon, Mizrach, Maharav. Right. Up and down is the two legs. The netzach is up and the hood is down. All right, so this three direction refer to the six attributes of the up, what you call chesed, what you first netzach hod yesod, the six, uh, the vav of the name of God. And it's all referred to the concept of the donkey, etc. okay. So we saw we saw the gematia of of all these thirty names, referring to all what my book is is about. What is Yitzchak Chen Mashiach? Yitzchak Yitzchak equal Chen Mashiach. All my book is about this number, about this concept. And we have it, we have it all here, right? It's in Ashmo. This is the image of, of Jesus too, of each one of us.
Now, if we take this 13 in, in, in order number gimetia, what I will receive? 640. What is the reverse of 460? This is very interesting. Before we have 10 times 460. Now we receive 640 that equal Rivka Rivka. So we see that Rivka Rivka is opposite of Yitzhak Yitzhak. If I put these two numbers together, I receive 1030. What is Hamo with all the feeling that Het, Mem, Rav, Rech. Okay, so we receive uh, the fullness of donkey, you know, a donkey, when we talk about the donkey of Mashiach, this refers to all the order of what we call the horse, the mule, and the donkey. Here we have Yudke Vavke, we have uh, the Hamo, the donkey, with all the feeling later. What is how Hamo he, he becomes full? What we have to give him? We have to give him a payment, Tashlum. Tashlum is the same letter of Lemut, of fullness, to be full. What he called the coming of Mashiach. The Atta Mashiach, the coming of Mashiach. Seven, seven, six, five. Right, so. Chamo. Plus Shlemut equal Chamo with the feeling letter. Okay. All right, so what if we have with this number, uh, with this number 1030, is 10 times Mincha. Mincha, it's a, it's referred to Yitzchak, it's a prayer of Yitzchak, we call it the prayer of Mincha. Mincha, it's like an offering, offering to God. Equal two time fill up here. Fill equal is plus Rivka. Right? Because Yitzhak is a is a pillow of the prayer. Right? The word stand on three pillows. The chesed, what is Avram? What we call it, the Gmilut Hasadi, to give good. Asher Shad Varim Olam, a man on three feet, the world stand. Yitzchak is a pillow of prayer. There are three pillows that the world stand on, on this. Is the Gmilut Hasadi, is Avram, is the Avodah, the work, is the work of prayer, is Yitzchak. And is the Torah, what is the refer to Yaakov. Okay? So, you know, in the, we put the tefillin. Tefillin is like from the word fila. Tefillin is like many. So there are two tefillin, two tefillin, two tefillin, two one of, one of the head of the rosh, and one of the yad, of the end. Is it tefillin of the, of the hand, what refers to the heart, and is it tefillin of the head? Together equal fila two. Okay.
All right, so this is number that equal uh, uh, refer to uh, Yitzhak and Rivka. But it's two opposite, two opposite number. It means that 614 is a number that complete the number 460. The completion is always with is opposite. And equal to time to opposite. It means two opposite equal is half plus rivka, two opposite. Okay, let me check what else we have here. Yitzchak plus Rivka equal David plus Moshe plus Yosef. Right? The three concept of Mashiach. Is Mashiach ben David, is Mashiach ben Yosef, and is a Levi, is a priest Mashiach. Equal to Esav, Reuven, Menashe. The three firstborn we have in Israel. Okay, equal this number. We're free, free firstborn that they lost the, the, the firstborn in Amisai. Asa, the first one, Ruven is the second one, Menashe is the third one. The letter of Menashe is the letter Nun in Kabbalah. Refer to the month of Cheshvan, the letter Nun. The letter of Ruven is the letter Chet. Refer to the month of Av. Letter Chet, so these two, from the 12th tribe, these two that lost their birthright have to do with the two letter hand. It mean, we think they lost their birthright, but God don't give up about, about nobody. If God decides that they have the, the, the first bond, they are the first bond. Okay? So, the two, the two letters of Han refer to Menashe and Reuven. And we have here the Gimetia of David, Moshe Yosef in doubling, that equals this number two. So I think this is enough. This is a more important thing. Uh, now, this was an older number. What we receive in small number? All these 13 names in, in small number, we will receive the gametia of 254. Hamo, donkey. Interesting, no? We have again the Hamor. Now it is another number. It is, it is, it is what you call Mispar Katan Mispari. A numerical small number. It means we, 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 we lost the connection to the letter. You know, each number is connected to the letter, but in in a small number, you still can see the connection, the connection to the letter. But if if I receive, for example, uh, uh, Ava equal 13, all right, so I can relate the number 13 to the four letter of Ava, right? Ava. But if I do one plus three equal four, this calls the, one plus three equal four. This called Rabbi Ginsburg call him Mispar Katan Mispari. Mispar Katan Mispari. Small number that is is a number. <laughs> I don't know how to say it in English. Okay, so we have another level of Gimetia. Not always 
where this has fallen. For example, for the word a met, a met in regular number equal 441. Right, the taf is 400, the name is 40, the aleph is one. In an order number, the aleph will be one, the mem is a 13 letter, the taf is a 22 letter. So together, how much will we receive? 36. Right? Now, in, in, in a small number, we will receive one plus four instead of 40, and four instead of 400. What together, it's nine. So it's not, it's not another number. It's not a, a, another small number. And they have other, other name, for example, Yehud or Rachamim. Let's take Rachamim. In a regular uh, Ginetia, Rachamim equal 298. How much equal in, in small in an in a order number? Resh is uh, 20, 28, 41. 51, 64, it will be 64 in order number, right? In a small number, equal 10, 10 plus four, 15, 19. Now we have a number in, in, a, in, a, in a more small number, we have 10. But now we have another number, final small number is one, always one. So now we have five degree of geometry. All right, so if I do a word with all the degree of geometry, usually we have four steps. Regular, order, small, and numeric small. But sometimes we have another way to, to, to do a symptom. Every time we have, a, we, have a, we have something that we have to 10, this, become, this can be one, all right? So if I do all these 13 uh, uh, names in this kind of geometry, what I will receive, it means with the, the next level or two level or if there are no, if, if it's nothing, is nothing, like a met. How much, I, how much I will receive? Ten. 58. All right, so we have four kind of geometria, basically. First of all, in all the, in, in the regular geometry, we receive from the number, the first number that appear here, we receive 4,000, we have to check it, 160. After in the order number, geometry, we receive, in the second number that appear, we, we receive 640. After in the small number, the, the third number that appear here, we receive 254, the donkey. Now the rest of the number, what is the four and the fifth, and sometimes is not a four number, is hand. Together we receive five, 5,086. That is two times, Right? Two time, right? 
Now, it's a big number. I don't, I don't know what to do with it. You know, if, if, I, if I split this number to, to a, a element, a, how you say, Gormim, a, to the basic elements of prime number, is, is, is made from two numbers, from two prime numbers. 2,543 split a, a two times, two times this number, okay? Now, the number 2,543 is the prime number 373. 2 is the second prime number. 2. So what I'm going to do now is what you call the, uh, the source of the number. The, so the source of the number will be 2 times 373. This, this Gava again will call it this number, what we get now, he call it the source of the number, Makora Mispa. What is 746? What is? Not fruit, Christianity. This is the base of all Christianity. We have hand letter, we have all together, 13 names, what you call Ava, 13, what you call one, it's all one. Echad equal love equal 13. And you see the Gimetsot, all the Gimetsot refer to, for, to everything we teach. Now we see another thing uh, very nice about this uh, name. Let's take the, uh, the first five names. Emuna, Ta'anug, Ratzon, Yehud, Bitu. The sixth first name, Bitu, Simcha. What will be the acronym of this, uh, of this uh, sixth word? Benefit. The first word in the Torah, the same letter of the acronym of this, this uh, six word. Okay, now I take the last six word. It will be here, A. Uh, Rachamim. Fear, mercy, bitachon, confidence, mimut, simplicity, naivete, emet, true, Realization, shiflut. What what will be the acronym of this six word? So we have 12 words that have the acronym of Bereshit, and we have a word in the middle that is like the, the all together, what is the Ahava, the rule of all, the 13, that Ahava equal 30, the middle point. Amati equal Bereshit in small number,
just you the same thing right so you have it's all it's all Ava it's all the first word in the Torah it's all 13 it's all Han Han in, in small number equal 13 it's all love even you have here fear what is opposite of love it's all love everything is just for the love fear is keep is, it, it keeps the love you know if I if I don't have a, a fear to lose the love the love will be lost the fear is like the vessel to keep the love it's like a vessel okay if I'm not the fear of God so I might don't do what he asked me right so it's all love everything is love everything is 13 everything is Bereshit the first word in the Torah and it's all Christianity this is this is this is the best of Christianity of to learn really what is the Holy Spirit what what is the soul of Jesus and is a rectification of the real Satan, the real Lucifer as well, where she's the gimmick of 10 times Lucifer. This is a real father, the real, the truth that be, uh, is behind the, the physical existence. And in the future, he will, he will receive this place back in holiness, the Satan. I talk about the, the real Lucifer, all right? Not any idolatry that other people worship. I talk about the real root of what we call uh, the real root of the devil. You call it, this has to do with the essence of the soul, and this has to do with what we call Tlimiut Abba, the inner of the father, the same gimmick. 600 lie right we, it's like we bring back the lie to holiness what is the secret of Chen Shekera Chen the Chen is light okay oh I saw this was like a, a best we give, we, we give here a, a, a in this two lesson we, we, we give a best a basic of all the, all what is really important to know in Kabbalah, there are other concepts that we will see it in different occasions and opportunity, but this is a basic, this is a basic, and ev everything, all the work, all the inner understanding of the Torah really relate after, relate to this concept. What is all the name of God, Yud Kevavke. All right, so, uh, I stop to share. Okay, here you are. All right, so uh, I wish to everybody a uh, Pesach, Pesach, Sameach, happy, happy Pesach. Pesach is a sacrifice. Pesach is a Mashiach. The Seder, the order, is what is below the Mashiach, it's a donkey that have three letters, three concept of horse, mule, and donkey. This is a free matzo. But is is a fi command. The fi command that is like above the free matzo. When we cut, we cut Yitzhak, David to two. It's two Yitzhak, it's two David, it's David and it's the root of David. Right, it's David here and it's David the root of David, what is Mashiach. All right, so all the center of Pesach is the celebration of all this concept of uh, the free father, the free matzot, the, the order, the, and what is above the order, what is the Pesach, what is the sacrifice, what is the secret of the Afikoman that we keep for the desert. Afikoman, it's been desert. In the end of the meal, of the seder, we eat the afikoman, is the mashiach. 
We call it the, the mahal aemuna, the, the food of faith and the food, the food of, of medicine. All right, so we have to think that when you eat the matzah, you receive, you receive faith, you eat faith. To eat faith, it's like, it's like the faith become knowledge. It's like the faith become something part of me that I, I, can, I can touch it. The faith become that. Okay. And this, uh, we call it the, Hazal call it too, the, 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 the ma'acha, the food of healing. All right, so anybody that is sick, you have to think that when he eats the matzah, he heal his body, his body, the body of Jesus. All right, so I wish you everybody a Pesach kasher mesamer, this is the tradition that we wish a Pesach that will be kosher and happy. <coughs> And we see you if we get help uh, after uh, after holiday. You have any question? So, uh, you will work. It's a lot of daytime to work for you guys. You know, a lot of daytime, but you will eat it again and again. So then you will be you will be more and more attached to the concept, and you will understand more and more how this uh, led to to you. All right, so shalom to everybody. You are here. You... Shalom. shalom. Thank you so much, everybody.